In this video, I'll be doing a Get Ready With Me Bollywood edition. Hey beauties, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Lily, and I want to share my love for all things beauty and makeup with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the subscribe button below for new content every week. One of my favorite things about my culture is the fancy outfits and the extravagant costume jewelries. So today I'll be sharing that with you guys. And today I'm wearing a blue lehenga is what we would call it. It's just a crop top with a matching skirt. And we typically have one of these shawls, which we call a dupatta. And we just throw it over any way we like. And for the eye look, because I didn't want to overshadow the color of the lehenga, I decided to do a bronzy eye with just a pop of blue on the bottom. So I started off by applying moisturizer to my skin. That way there's like a barrier to protect my skin against all this makeup. First thing I'm going to go in with is the Laura Mercier Oil Free Foundation Primer. And I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this. I'm not going to go in with the Beauty Blender. I like to use the oil free because I do get a little bit oily throughout the day so this really helps to control the oil. Next I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I'm going to apply that with the Tati Beauty Blendy Full. I know I've seen a lot of you ask questions about how I like the Blendy Full and I actually really like it better than my Beauty Blender which is surprising. Um, one reason why I really like it is because it doesn't absorb the product, it just holds on to it and it just spreads it evenly across the skin. So if this is something you're looking to try, I do recommend it. It didn't absorb the product into whatever this is, but it just helps to spread it. Make sure you bring that down to your neckline because you don't want any harsh lines. And you definitely don't want your neck to look a different color than your face. How have you guys been doing with all the quarantine? I've just been home, keeping busy with work. My husband is home. I'm pretty sure he thinks I talk too much. Another reason why I really like this Tati Beauty Blendy Fall is because you don't have to use a lot of products because, well, you don't have to use a lot of foundation because a little goes a long way because you don't have the sponge absorbing so much of it. And I took whatever is left on the blendy full and dragged it down to my neck. Next, I'm gonna go in with my uh, highlighter concealer for under my eyes and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Golden Tan. I know in like Bollywood cultures it's all about full coverage but I don't like to just pack on product on top of each other so I just use a little bit of product. And I'm going to put some of this on top of my eyelids and it's going to act as a base for our eyeshadow later. Now I'm going to start blending using the same blendy full. Be careful not to drag the blendy full because just like a beauty blender you have to keep tapping it to get like a flawless finish. If you drag it, then it's going to show streaks, and we don't want that. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the contour, and I'm using the color Deep Honey, the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to start shaping my face. Usually I don't contour, I just use this darker color to just add a little warmth to my face so I don't look so washed out after the foundation and the highlighter. Highlighter meeting concealer. And I'm going to use a different side of the blendy full to start blending the contour out. I'm going to drag all of that to like the bottom to just add some shape to my jawline. Be careful not to add too much of the concealer because a little bit does go to go a long way. And I'm going to push this product into my hairline. Now I'm going to start blending the contour on my jawline. Make sure to stay right where you applied the product and don't move it up or down because you don't want your cheek to look like it's 
all the way down here or like too high up. Yes, yeah, if you need to, you can make the funny face to find your cheekbones like this. You know, the fish face. Make sure everything is connected at the end. Like it should go in a three like this. Now I'm gonna set the under eye um, concealer with the Jeffree Star setting powder and I use the one in Topaz. And again, I'm going in with the Blendy Full, a different side. I'm being a little bit heavy handed with the powder under my eyes because I want it to catch the fallout when I start doing my eyes. And I'm gonna take some of that and apply it to my eyelids as a way to set that concealer that I laid down earlier. Now I'm gonna take whatever is left on the blendy full, which is not a lot, and I'm gonna tap it all over my face. Next I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Out Promade, and I'm gonna use the color Ebony. I like to start by brushing my eyebrows up, and then I'll start shaping the bottom. So now I'm going to start off with a very light color in the palette and I'm going to run that along my brow bone and all over the eyes. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush for this. Now because this is a bronzy eye look with a pop of blue, I'm going to add a very warm brown to the crease of my eye. And I'm gonna use the same fluffy brush that I went in with before. And bring that all the way to the inner corner. And when you're doing that to the crease, wing it out a little bit and blend. I'm using a very light hand to blend in the crease. Now I'm gonna take a more tapered end brush and I'm gonna apply a darker brown to the crease again. Now I'm gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush. Next I'm gonna take the same tapered brush and I'm gonna take a darker color from the palette, a darker brown color and apply it to the outer corners of the eye just to add some darkness over there. And I'm bring it right to the middle of my eye. And again I'm going to blend it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. This is typically used as a highlighter, but because it's the darkest color in the set that I had gotten, I typically use it for an eyeshadow. And it's in the color Rosé. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner with my favorite NYC liquid eyeliner. Next I'm gonna take the Shimmery Royal Blue color from the palette and apply that on on my bottom lash line. So now I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Cocoa Bling and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eye just to add a little bit of brightness there. And now I'm gonna apply some blush. <laughs> 